On a Wednesday afternoon, an early evening in Ann Arbor, the Michigan Wolverines do what they need to do. They win a couple of games against Ohio State, and they move to 14-2 in conference play. They are tied atop the Big Ten with the Indiana Hoosiers with four conference games left to be played. With my partner, Stacy Phillips, I am Eric Collins, and, well, great teams do what they need to do. They play consistently well at all times. Michigan did that against a very injured and depleted Ohio State team. Sure, and Jordan Taylor came out like she has her whole career, but really in her senior year, she's come out and she's she really put the ball exactly where she wanted to put it. Her changeup was working, and when her changeup works, it is huge for the, for the Wolverines. Coach Hutchins loves when she is on. And then game two, Alicia Ryan with a bomb early on to right center field. She got under that one. She bettered herself on her second home run, hitting a line drive, almost the same pitch, a little bit up the middle, but it was a drive. Well, the final numbers are staggering for Jordan Taylor. She pitches both games of the doubleheader. In total, 12 innings. She struck out 18 Buckeyes. She allowed just three base hits in the game. She's a real force now in her fourth year for Carol Hutchins. Yep, and postseason's going to be beautiful for Michigan with Jordan Taylor. So congratulations to the Michigan Wolverines. They needed to win two games. They won two games. They are now 14-2 and two in conference play, tied atop the standings with the Indiana Hoosiers.